Uh, there is a there's a coffee shop on the top floor of that uh, the mall, and uh, you know we were just sitting there, and suddenly, all of a sudden, maybe at around 12 o'clock, we started hearing gunshots on the first, second floor, uh, maybe on the ground floor and the first floor, and it was like it was like it, it suddenly turned into a war-like situation. People were just you know we could hear uh, you know continuous gunshots, and then we we ran towards the rooftop parking which is adjacent to that uh, coffee shop we just went outside and said all of a sudden you know somebody started firing on that on the rooftop side as well again we came inside the coffee shop and people were just running here and there it was a total chaos and me and my wife luckily we got inside a cupboard in that uh, coffee shop and uh, you know uh, after some time one of the employees of the uh, coffee shop he, uh, he just called us why don't you come come to the, inside the kitchen so uh, there were many people, we all went inside the kitchen and they blocked the kitchen doors and everything with their refrigerators, big refrigerators. And, uh, you know, uh, all of a sudden there, you know, it was in a, such a chaotic situation. Me and my wife, we got inside the storeroom. All, almost 17 people were there in this very small storeroom. We were trying to just uh, block the door. And, you know, there were a lot many people, children were there. They were just crying. There were, you know, old people were there. And uh, we just closed the door and we were there. And, you know, we, we got stuck for almost uh, two, two and a half hours. And there was, we, can, we could, you know, hear continuous gun firing going on. It was like, you know, if you could, if you could realize that it, it was like a war situation, what we normally see on the television when there is a war. And it was like a war situation and it was a cross firing. People were crying, running everywhere. 